Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Mungli. So today I'm going to explain you uh, uh, one of the Kaplan questions from Kaplan Medicals uh, uh, related to biochemistry. Here is a case stem. So a 28 year old man comes to the physician for a follow up examination. He has a history of progressive end stage hereditary emphysema. Several first degree relatives have emphysema and also have hepatic disease. Several alpha-1 uh, serum alpha-1 antitrypsin enzyme levels are low here. Increased activity of which of the following serine proteases best accounts for lung tissue destruction in this patient. Basically, if you uh, see the case stem here, so here, here is a 28-year-old uh, man. So, he's basically coming up for a follow-up examination. So, he has uh, had a history of uh, progressive end stage hereditary emphysema. So basically the first uh, disease that you are getting here in the case stem, it is about hereditary emphysema. So this is the one that you really need to uh, notice here. This is a case of hereditary emphysema. So there are various causes for emphysema. So but here we are talking about hereditary emphysema. So now and also it has been written that several first degree relatives have emphysema and also they have hepatic disease. So basically here the respiratory system is involved and also the hepatic system is involved. So it's an emphysema along with hepatic disease. So this hepatic disease it may be a cirrhosis of the liver or any other liver condition. So now and also the labs will say serum alpha 1 antitrypsin enzyme levels are low so this is one of the you know, significant point that we really need to note that in the case stem alpha 1 antitrypsin levels are low basically indicating this is there is an alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency now because of this alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency so what is the enzyme which of the serine proteases that are given below will be having decreased as uh, means best accounts for lung destruction in this particular patient. So basically this is a case of alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. This is a case of alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency here. So in this case so you are seeing emphysema and uh, cirrhosis of the liver here. So Emphysema here is a hereditary emphysema. Basically, you see autosomal recessive inheritance pattern in alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. So, that's why it is written as for several first degree relatives have been affected by this disease. And also, this case term has been made easy by giving the laboratory finding that is, serum alpha 1 antitrypsin enzyme levels are low. Now, we, uh, before we get into the uh, options, we really need to know what is the function of alpha-1 antitrypsin here. So, note that alpha-1 antitrypsin, it is synthesized from the hepatocytes or the liver cells. And the function of this alpha-1 antitrypsin is to take care of serine protease, particularly the elastase and also the trypsin. So, Elastase and the trypsin, trypsin uh, activities will be taken care by alpha-1 antitrypsin and basically alpha-1 antitrypsin it regulates the level or quantity of enzyme activity there. Okay, so in the whenever the alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency occurs, so which of the serine proteases they will increase their activity and thereby leading to lung destruction. So basically the answer is uh, quite easy here. So uh, obviously it goes for if the alpha 1 antitrypsin is deficient so whatever the enzymes that it is regulating so those enzymes they will have over activity here so usually it will go for elastase and the trypsin so now since uh, emphysema is seen here and also it is related with the hepatic disease so it's a case of alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency and that's so the alpha 1 antitrypsin when it is not acting so or when it is deficient in its activity so elastase it will be overactive and leading to lung destruction because elastase so here is the elastase so option b so which seems to be a correct answer here 
so function of this elastase so elastase is one of the serin protease so before i get uh, uh, start explaining the individual functions of these uh, enzymes present in the option let me explain in brief about what is the meaning of serin proteases so here is the serin proteases so serin proteases are basically so these are the enzymes which have got serin in their active site this serin it is acting as a nuclear file in the active site thereby it helps in the breakage of peptide bond in a protein molecule so whenever whenever serin proteases word is used so these are the enzymes which will use serin which is an hydroxyl containing amino acid in its active site and that hydroxyl containing amino acid serin is used as a nuclear file and thereby it breaks down peptide bond of a substrate okay that's the meaning of serin protease so elastase which is one of the serin protease its function is to dest destroy elastic tissue that is elastin so elastin which is in association with the collagen molecule so elastin is the one which is responsible for elastic property of the connective tissue so note that elastin is rich in uh, lung tissue so elastase whenever it is released from neutrophils because of some inflammatory inflammatory reaction and all the other uh, related things so when alpha 1 antitrypsin is down so elastase will go unregulated and it will go on destroying the lung tissue so that's the one which is responsible for lung tissue destruction in the hereditary emphysema leading to emphysema here but why hepatic disease in alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency so the hepatic disease in alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency is because the mutation in a gene coding for alpha 1 antitrypsin so it will be synthesizing a mutated alpha 1 antitrypsin protein and note that alpha 1 antitrypsin is a protein which is meant to be secreted out of the hepatocyte so mutated protein it will be uh, it will be retained within the endoplasmic reticulum so because of the retention of alpha 1 antitrypsin within the endoplasmic reticulum so endoplasmic reticulum will engorge and that will lead to hepatic cirrhosis basically cirrhosis of the liver and all the consequences now we'll move on to see the first choice that is chymotrypsin so the chymotrypsin anyway so chymotrypsin is not a correct uh, choice for this particular uh, case stem but still chymotrypsin is one of the serin protease enzyme and the function of this chymotrypsin is it is going to act on aromatic amino acids it's going to act on the carboxyl side of aromatic amino acids so uh, there are three aromatic amino acids we have tyrosine then we have tryptophan uh, and then we have phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan and phenylalanine these are the three amino acids like carboxyl sites of three these three amino acids will be attacked by chymotrypsin thereby break open the peptide bond and that's how the polypeptide chain is broken so chymotrypsin usually it is synthesized from pancreas as chymotrypsinogen and inactive chymotrypsinogen which is referred as zymogen and chymotrypsinogen is activated into chymotrypsin by active trypsin molecule now this trypsin here so option e the function of trypsin is to act on basic amino acids carboxyl side of basic amino acids that is arginine and lysine so carboxyl sides of arginine and lysine is clipped by the trypsin so trypsin is again it is synthesized in its inactive form by pancreas and that is trypsinogen so trypsinogen is activated into trypsin by enterokinase or enteropeptidase enzyme which will be located over the enterocytes that's how trypsinogen is activated into trypsin and now active trypsin it will be activating chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin then we have two enzymes here one is c uh, like in option c and d so option c it is um, plasmin so plasmin it is one of the enzyme serin protease enzyme which is present in uh, uh, in the blood stream the function of this plasmin is to break down fibrin fibrin clot 
so whenever the blood clotting process will go on so fibrinogen which is converted into fibrin so fibrin forms a clot and that blood clot lysis that is fibrinolysis will be done by plasmin enzyme so that's something which is plasmin here now the thrombin the thrombin is also a serine protease enzyme so the function of this thrombin is to convert fibrinogen into fibrin so basically thrombin is in its act inactive form called prothrombin so prothrombin it's also a present in the bloodstream so whenever the clotting process has to go on in our body prothrombin is converted to thrombin and this thrombin is going to convert fibrinogen into fibrin and fibrin forms a clot so that's how the clotting process will go on so whenever body doesn't need that clot so plasmin is going to break down fibrin fibrin clot and that leads to fibrinolysis so in this sense that thrombin and plasmin they are having an opposite function or the antagonizing function so if you see all these choices and try to connect that with the case stem so chymotrypsinogen is not a correct choice then plasmin is not a correct choice because none of them will lead to emphysema and hepatic disease thrombin is not a correct choice so which is not it is something related with the coagulation process so here it is hereditary emphysema and hepatic disease so it's not a choice correct choice so trypsin is also not not a correct choice although it's a serine protease it is going to be inhibited by alpha 1 antitrypsin uh, trypsin so in alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency some of the trypsin activity may go uninhibited but it is not going to destroy the lung tissue so that's why it may not lead to emphysema and hepatic disease so in that sense so elastase which is going to act on elastic tissue so and deficiency or uninhibited action of this elastase because of the deficiency of alpha 1 antitrypsin so can lead to emphysema and hepatic disease so that's why option b elastase is correct choice thank you